going on guys? What is going on? Mason Dog Studios, we are here. Mason Dog Academy of Technologies as well. We are here, I'm Mitchell. I got my homie uh, over here, Dennis. Yes, sir. We are about to show you what is going on with this EVGA 700 BQ power supply, baby. Let's go. So what you got here, you got a 700 watt power supply. It is modular, all right? So that means that basically it separates all of your power that you need uh, for your own individual needs. You can separate each one. Uh, and one of the cool things, it is already Sly and Crossfire compatible. So if you don't know about what Sly and Crossfire is, basically you can take video two uh, video cards and you can plug them together. It allows them to work together uh, seamlessly on your on your graphics. So let's uh, do this. You want to go ahead and crack this bad boy open? Sure, let's do this. And then uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Once again, Mason Dog Academy of Technologies. We bring you all the information teaching you uh, what's going on with computers. Eventually, we're gonna be showing you how to build your own computer. And uh, you know, you'll be able to actually build your own supercomputer. You know, if you wanna play video games, uh, whatever the case may be, we're gonna be here to teach you how to do this. So really, really, really cool, really excited. It's gonna be good. And uh, please make sure you check our other previous video uh, doing the unboxing of the actual case. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing for each individual component. Then eventually we're going to be bringing it all together and showing you actually how to build the full computer uh, with each part that we uh, did the unboxing for. All right, so what we got here? We got our book. All right. We got all of our each cables right here. These are your power. These are your power cables for the actual graphics card. So that's for that. These are... What you got over there, Dennis? Oh, just your, uh, your SATA plugs, SATA power. You have uh, one, two, two of those, and then the old style plugs. Sweet. And you also have your power cable for the actual computer. So you plug this in into the power supply, and this part goes into the wall. Bam. And like you stated, this is your SATA connection for your hard drives. So... Plug those in, and that's what this is where this is this is the cool part where the modular part comes into. So what you do is if you don't need this plug, you chunk it. You don't need it, right? You don't need it. All you need to do is plug in exactly what you need. This plugs into the actual uh, power supply. So that's where the modular part of it. Uh, let me see. Let me go ahead and show them real quick. So if you look right here, this is where the modular part comes in. So let me uh, let me flip it around so you can see it. So all you do is just you look right here where it needs to go in. It says SATA, boom. You take the SATA plug, you plug it right into there, just like that. That's why it's called modular. So if you don't need this, if you don't need this many uh, SATA plugs for your actual hard drive, then you don't need that cable. You don't need that ribbon. So it makes it way better for you. And this is what you'll use as well for if you have any additional power uh, requirements for your graphics card. And this actually powers your motherboard as well. Um, so any other things you want to highlight, this is your off and on switch for your actual power supply. And of course you have your fan. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the fan so it can get that airflow moving uh, to keep your computer cool. So it doesn't overheat. Exactly. Yeah. Anything you want to uh, go over? There, uh, Dennis. It's it's not a hundred percent modular. It's a more of a, a semi modular design. That's true. Uh, a full modular, this would not be there. It would be just stacked with plugs here, and you can you can get out individually where you can plug in only like this has a multiple SATA connection on it. You can bring it down to where you only need this one for one SATA connection versus having you know three on there at a time. Also, it's not a bad power supply. It's seven hundred watts. It'll be enough for what we're doing with it. You know for light medium gaming uh, i wouldn't go anything hardcore i wouldn't do anything big with the uh, cpu or big massive graphics card with this uh, it, it could do it it'd just be a lot it'd be really hot real real hot all right uh let's see what else we got here in the bag uh we also have our little velcro straps with the uh with the evga i love that i love i love evga's logo uh please evga please send us free stuff uh we would love to do more videos <laughs> on your products uh, and also you have the screws that will actually help mount the actual power supply into the actual case so this will go on with four uh, Phillips screws 
to go into the um into the case with the power supply all right so once again um that will complete our unboxing i hope you enjoyed it once again this is the evga 700 bq uh the bronze package of the power supply uh, my name is mitchell we also have dennis here yes, sir. and uh we appreciate it and um you know please make sure you sub like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video